What's going on everybody? Today, Ike and I are gonna be working on the chain for the Rat Rod Wagon. We have to make some tensioners for it to uh, make the chain tight so it doesn't do that like it was doing on our initial test ride. We also have to put another sprocket on it to keep the two chains from fighting each other. Ike is currently busy, but he'll be here in about an hour. So what I'm doing is uh, kind of making up a bracket so we can fit this little gear in between the chain to uh, make it tight. So I'll explain what I'm doing better. We went to Agri Supply and bought some more parts for our wagon here. We bought uh, two of these, uh, I guess little pulleys. They're actually plastic, not metal. Um, and we went with plastic because they were cheaper. They won't make metal splinters. They won't get as hot and uh, they won't be as noisy. That was the biggest factor, noise. Also bought a big one. And now uh, we're gonna be using these to uh, tension the chain, make adjustable chain tensioners so we can actually get our chain tight so it won't be really loose and scary. As I said, this pulley right here is going to act as our chain tensioner. We're actually going to put it in between the, uh, the two sides of the chain and have it pretty close to the live axle so it's kind of out of sight. In order to mount it there, I'm going to need to build a bracket, um, which is going to consist of this piece of metal, which is gonna be welded to the frame. And then I'm gonna cut a piece of this metal off, drill holes, make a little oval shape in it to act as a uh, adjuster. We're gonna put a bolt through this piece of metal, which is also going to go through this, and that's how the chain is gonna be tensioned. So first I'm going to need to cut this piece of metal right where it's been marked. I cut our two pieces of metal out and I clean the rusty one up so I can weld to it. So now I have to remove the chain and clean up this piece of frame here so I can weld to it. Cool. In order to put a big oval in this so we can have adjustment for our pulley, I'm going to need to drill a hole in either end of it and then use the grinder to go back and uh, cut out the spaces in between. So I'm going to find a drill bit that fits that hole and I'm going to drill me a hole. Ike is here. You want to say hi? Hi. What is Ike working on? Ike is working on relocating a sprocket on the uh, jack shaft. I drilled some holes in our chain tensioner, so now I just need to grind out that middle. I just cut out the slot in our chain tensioner. Ike is about to weld this little sprocket on. We're not too thrilled with how far it's going to poke out from the, uh, the rest of the wagon, but it's kind of what has to happen right now. If we're really unhappy with it, we can fix it. It'll just take a lot of time. Ike welded the bracket on for our tensioner, and now we're just gonna see if it works. Of course it'll work. No worries. It's pretty tight. Yeah. That should do the trick, right? We might need another uh, pulley you said in there, but. I'm thinking we might need a pulley in here because it's still gonna be slapping it. Well, let's just rat it and find out. All right. We have the chains back on it, the chain tensioner on, the sprocket welded in place. So we're going to fire it up and see if we can uh, actually ride it. Oh. We also put an exhaust on it.
Jeez. So we're gonna have to do something about that other one too. So we have a plan. Our chains keep falling off. So what we're gonna do, we're basically just gonna add two more of those tensioners and also build a guard right here to uh, help keep people's limbs intact when they're riding and also uh, to keep the chain from dancing around. So I'm gonna make two more of these brackets that I made. One for here on this chain and then one for the front chain. While I was making more brackets for our chain tensioners, Ike went out and went to the store and went to the metal shop. He got some bolts for us and he got some metal for a pretty little chain guard. We can take little pieces like this. Yeah. And I got this pipe here so we can cut at length and weld on to the pieces and then run three bolts and that way when we tighten up, we can tighten up real tight without crushing anything. Right. Mike has been hard at work here on the chain guard. Um, he got it all welded up um, using existing holes in the tub, so that was kind of nice. This should keep the chain from bouncing around and hopefully keep it in place too. So all he's doing now... Cover. Yep. All he's doing now is welding a chain tensioner onto the front chain to keep it from uh, being so sloppy. And then we can ride it. It's kinda noisy. Yeah, I told you it was gonna be noisy. I guess noisy is better than having a chain that falls off every minute. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. No brakes. No brakes, no throttle cable. Ready? Dude, looks like it turns pretty well on the grass. Kind of. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the oil thing cut off. Oh. I still got some uh, bugs we got to work out, but uh. Naturally. Not too bad. It does not like to uh, sling around. I'm thinking uh, the guard thing's helping out a lot. I think we need to just keep on fine-tuning Ike has determined that our sprocket is bent, and that's why our front chain keeps coming off there. Probably hit something when we did the little spin around. Hit a root or something. Mm. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, that's right. to admit he's got some stones for going that fast though remember it still has no brakes whatsoever he's going pretty good that's so awesome Holy cow. That was Ike by bypassing the governor. That's terrifying. How did the steering feel? Great. Really? Yeah. Like, was it, did it start to death wobble on you? No. Looked like you were doing 20, 25. I think I was doing close to 30. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think I was 
think with the uh, governor it does about 25 and then whenever I hit the bypass linkage and bypass it uh, it doesn't like that exhaust we hadn't jetted the carburetor or anything and uh, it just kind of it opens up and then it acts like it's getting lean and it kind of sputters and opens up and sputters did you hear it whenever I went yeah back? yeah I thought that was you doing that mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> he's got no brakes. <laughs> awesome! It's so scary, but it's so awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what do you think, man? Oh, it'll do all right to you. On the road, it's fine. Yeah, whenever you get it like full throttle without the governor, or with, whenever you get it full throttle with the governor, it like cruises. It's really nice. Like, how actually fast, nice. How fast do you think it's going? I don't know, because I was so freaking scared. I have no idea. About 30, I'm thinking. Well, I'm going to say 25. 25? Okay. Is it burning the towel? Nah. Oh, okay. Polishing the axle. Yeah. Also, everybody, we have to make a seat still. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, that's right. So how do you think it turned out, man? I think it turned out all right. Uh... She does not like yards. She will chunk a chain in a heartbeat. Uh, I'd like to blame it on all the roots in the yard that we keep running over, but on the street, I can actually open her up and she kind of likes it. What do y'all think? I think the chain guard, initially I thought the chain guard would be kind of ugly and just kind of an eyesore, but I think it looks kind of good. I mean, it's not like it's gonna last 100 years. People are going to come up to this thing in 10 years and say, what were they thinking? We weren't. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, it's really taking shape, though, and really almost everything else that we have to do is purely cosmetic other than the brake. Uh, and, of course, mounting the brake and the throttle uh, hand, hand throttle, hand throttles. Yeah, the, the hand, hand and brake. Yeah, white walls. We keep forgetting white walls. We got white to walls. do the white walls. Keep forgetting about the white walls. We'll get it. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure that eventually we might change the 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 chain setup setup because it doesn't like the 35 chain. No, I, I, we do believe that uh, uh, using a chain that long, the 35 is not the one. I, I believe it actually has enough stretch in it to uh, throw itself off the uh, sprockets. Uh, we have uh, good alignment with the sprockets. We've checked and double checked, and uh, it's just not a... Uh, uh, it just keeps throwing them. Uh, so we need to go with a 41 chain or, or, or bigger. So uh, if y'all do any projects like this, don't go with a 35 chain. Go with something bigger. If your chain is this long. Yeah. This this is a uh, learning experience with us, and and uh, uh, we'd like to pass on our knowledge to y'all. That's right. Yeah. I want to do wheelie. You want to do wheelie? I want to do wheelie. Like right now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. I want to do a wheelie. Sure. We good? Let's do a wheelie. Crank me up. Ike is going to try to do a wheelie on the right rod wagon. He might destroy it. Hopefully it'll be fine and it'll still be rideable. So, thanks for watching this episode. Check out Cars and Cameras on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the wheelie or the lack of wheelie.